open the Excel file Oz Retail Turnover. The file contains data from the Australian Bureau of Statistics for the period December 2011. The data is already in a summary table format with retail turnover displayed in millions of dollars. For part A we have to determine whether the industry group variable is ordinal or nominal. When we have a look at the industry group variable, we can see that we have categories such as food retailing, cafes, restaurants and takeaway food services, households goods, goods retailing and so on. So this is clearly categorical data and we have a nominal variable in that there is no inherent ordering to the categories. For part B, we have to construct a bar chart. Now, we generally talk about bar charts. In Excel, it distinguishes between bar and column charts. Bar charts are where the bars are horizontal and column charts are where the bars are vertical. But more generally, we do tend to just talk about bar charts. When we're in Excel, we can certainly try both to see which looks best. So I just need to block on the categories and their corresponding values. Notice I don't need to include the, to the total or the headings. I then can go to the insert ribbon, I can go to a column chart and I can try a basic 2D column. Now when I create that chart, looking at it, yes it would need some tidying up but there's also going to be the issue of my categories having quite large labels and so it doesn't really suit the style. And this is therefore a good example of where we might like to use the horizontal bars, what Excel calls a bar chart, because that can help us with labels that are quite large. So I'm just going to change the chart type and I'm going to switch to a bar and again just use the basic 2D. Now looking at that, it's much easier to see the labels and I can start to tidy it up. When it's just one series of data, we don't need the legend, so we can delete that. We can go into the layout tab and we can add in a chart title and we can choose where we want that to be positioned. So if we go for that option, it puts it on top of the uh, first bar if I change to above the chart it looks a little bit neater and I can click in there and choose a title something like retail turnover and I'll include the particular month that we're looking at. Now I've got the amounts down on my horizontal axis I can certainly go in and add a label there just to remind everyone that they're in millions. So we'll go into that and put in a label and I'm just going to type in millions and put my dollar sign. Okay so that's my bar chart. Now I'll just move that over a little bit. I'm also asked for part C to construct a pie chart. So I'm going to again block on the categories and their values. I'm going to go to insert, choose pie chart, just a basic 2D will be fine. I'll move that over. So Excel's done most of the hard work. In this case we do need a legend because we need to know what colour goes with what category. We can add some labels and a title. We can use one of the default setups and you can see up in the chart layouts that we've got um, this one where it's going to add the percentages and a title for us. So we'll put that on. Uh, it's gone through, it's put the percentages, it's put the names next to each pie piece so you've got a little bit of flexibility. You can try out some different options and we can go in and we can just change that title again to retail turnover. Okay, so for part D, we we'll asked which do you think gives the best representation of the data? Look, in this case, I think you could certainly mount an argument for each of them. So in many ways, for data like this, it comes down to personal preference. 
we've got quite a few categories here so possibly in that respect the bar chart is better looking at the bar chart we can clearly see that food retailing uh, has the largest turnover and then we can start to see that you know household goods retailing is second followed by other and the, the least is clothing footwear and personal so we do get that nice ability to compare yes you can still see those features in the pie chart and certainly we have the largest pie piece being food retailing as we get more categories we tend not to use the pie charts as much because they can get a little bit messy so I think here my personal preference would be the bar chart but certainly there is nothing wrong with the pie chart okay and in terms of part E what are the key features well it's nice to try and tell the story of the charts that we're creating to try and put those features into words and so the story we could tell here would be something like retail turnover was dominated by food sales during December 2011 with the turnover in this sector representing 30 36% of the market household goods was the second largest sector with 18% and clothing footwear and personal accessory retailing the smallest sector with a 9% share of the market this distribution is somewhat surprising given the Christmas period however it shows the strength of food retailing during this period and for further analysis of the level of other sectors we would potentially need to consider some time series data so as to fully gauge the significance this type of summary where you look at you know the largest second largest the smallest and then you try to link that into some real life considerations is a really great way to analyze data using the visual and then uh, in words